Hi, how are you all? Today we are going to see how to make this awesome, cool looking ocean scene in Blender. And you can see this ocean simulating in real time, and render it in 1 or 2 seconds. However, don't use this version for any important projects because it's still in the alpha stage, not stable, and may lead to crashes in your files or projects. So please use this version for testing purposes only. So no further waiting, let's get into the tutorial. First, open Blender and delete everything in the viewport, except the default cube. Now, select the cube, go to the Modifier tab, and add an Ocean modifier. Set the resolution and render value to 16. Scroll down, select the Open Waves tab, and change the wind velocity to 4, and choppiness to 0.9. Go to Output Properties. Change the frame rate to 30 and the end frame range to 300. Come back to the ocean modifier. Set the time value to 0, and right click on the time and insert a keyframe. Slide the timeline to the 30th frame, change the time value to 0.5, and insert another keyframe. Now go to the graph editor. Select these keys, right click, and change the interpolation mode to linear. Select the time here, and come here, click the modifier tab, add a cycles modifier, and set repeat with offset in both before and after mode. Now come back to the timeline. Let's play the scene to see how the ocean looks. If you're satisfied with your animation, go to the modifier tab, Set the render value to 32 and scroll down to the end. Expand the bake option, change the cache path to your preferred location. Set the end frame to 300 and click Bake Ocean. Wait until the baking finished to 100%. After finished, now save this scene and open a new scene and delete the objects you first saw in the viewport. Then add a plane, scale it to 1000. Press N, go to the View tab, change the clip start value to 0.1, and increase the end value by adding two zeros in the center. Now select the plane, go to Edit Mode, right click and add Subdivide, and change the number of cuts to 100. Back to Object Mode. Add a new material, and switch to the Shader Editor. Select the principled BSDF, press Ctrl plus T, and click Open Image Texture. Now select the first frame of the baked ocean map and, press Open Image. OK, set the texture coordinate to Object, and change the scale value to 10. Here, change the single image to Image Sequence, and set the frames to 300. and drag these three nodes and keep them aside. Now add a separate XYZ node, and put it here, and then add a combine XYZ node. Put it here. Now connect the Y to Y and Z to Z. Add a vector displacement node, and put it here, and change the scale value to 0.01. And connect the displacement to displacement in material and output. Change the color to black, Set the roughness to 0, and set the year value to 1.333. Set the transmission weight to 1. OK. Now set our render engine to EV next. Switch to render view and hide our gizmos and grid. Adjust the displacement scale to 0.02. and go to the Material tab, scroll down, 
and change the displacement method from bump to displacement and bump. OK. Now go to the World tab, and add a Sky Environment Texture. Alright. Now go to the Modifier tab, and add a Subdivision Surface. And set the levels to 4. OK. Now we can see the waves are displaced. If it looks too bumpy, scale down the value to 0 0.01. Now increase the subdivision surface level, not more than 5, it will crash your scene. And hola! Now our ocean is complete. Now we can play with the lighting and render settings. Change the sky strength to 0.8. Hide this. Scroll down to color management. Change the look to high contrast. Set the exposure to 0.2, and increase the gamma to 1.2. Awesome! Now add any ship model. And go to render settings. And enable the ray tracing option. Change the resolution to 1, and open the screen tracing tab. Increase the precision and max roughness to full, and pull the thickness all the way to 0. Enable the Motion Blur option. And here. Enable Cyclic and Auto Refresh. Hola! Now press the spacebar to play the scene. Now. Our ocean animates in real time. It looks cool, right? Alright, now add a camera, and let's test how long it takes to render the scene. Wow! The scene looks awesome. And rendered in just 2.36 seconds. Ok, now change the background sky, and test another render. Wow! Another cool view, right? Let's check another. Wow! This one also looks great. Alright! I hope you liked the tutorial, please hit the like and subscribe button for more content. And stay tuned. Bye!